Hey, it's Kay. Uh, at midnight. Because I decided to comment on a thing. Which brought up a topic. Which brought up me being right. But, uh, basically the dude's question was. Something about having high nitrates. What can you do to curb that? And I myself am a believer in giant water changes. So I told him. I said, just do couple big water changes like I don't see what the fucking problem is then some girl got on my dick she was like you're messing with the ecosystem of a fish and at first it was shocking the fish okay first she said it was gonna shock the fish when you do a giant water change okay do not just hose it back in there and just go cray cray and fill your tank up in 10 seconds with gallons of water like when I do a giant water change of the 55 which is usually I'll do a water change before I add a fish not a big one Okay, let me think of what I'm going to do with a large water change. Uh, okay, say I have ick. I have ick. Then I would probably do a bigger water change, or one of my parameters is off, like ammonia is too high. I have some sort of spike. Uh, I would go in, do probably about an 80% water change, and you... Not so much drip it, but like put the water in slowly like of course if you do go fast you are going to shock your fish but i've been doing this for long enough i would know if i'm going to fucking shock my fish like you go in you do it slow that way they get used to the temperature they get used to the lack of ammonia they get used to the lower nitrates and nitrides and blah blah blah, 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 blah the whole shebang and then her thing was you're killing your beneficial bacteria blah, 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 type thing okay no you're not because uh and then she's like google it which I got a fucking kick out of because I personally am a person who loves to be right. I love being right. So I went on Google. <laughs> I already knew what I was going to get. I mean, come on. Beneficial bacteria lives in your filter. Lives on your lives in your substrate. Lives in all the things that are on your aquarium. Does not live in your water. Yeah, you probably got a few little doodles floating in your aquarium because they're lost or whatever. But doing a giant water change is not going to hurt your bacteria. You may lessen their amount of food. You might suck up those ones that are chilling, swimming through your aquarium, you know, living their life, and you kill people that are living their life. And some of them may die off, but if you got a stable aquarium, they're going to be breeding like little baby rabbit bacterias. And by the next week or so, their year aquariums could be in the back to normal. It's really not going to hurt your aquarium. Doing giant water changes is always very good for your fish because your fish seriously love it. When you see a river, and you see that river going like chick, 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 right? Or you see a bunch of rain piling down. We all know rain isn't like five gallons added in at one time. Rain is just like filling up, totally changing out all the water in rivers and streams and blah, 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 blah. You think their ecosystem is thrown off and all the fish die and all the bacteria dies? No. You gotta think of it like as in a nature type of way. Like when my mom told me at first that water changes were bad. No, because again, like rain, evaporation, currents moving through, changing the water out. You need to change your water. You need to revitalize your fish's habitats. Because they don't got rain. They don't got evapor well, they do have evaporation. And they do need their aquariums topped off. Water changes are not gonna hurt your bacteria. Actually, let me read you something that I got on there. Because people are better at explaining it than me. Okay, this one dude said, The benef beneficial bacteria live in your filter media and really everywhere else to some extent in substrate and blah, 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 blah. And feed off your ammonia and nitrate produced by your fish, blah. Clean the water has no ill effect. You can definitely kill the bacteria with bleach. High levels of chlorine slash chloramine and things like potassium so don't throw bananas in your tank uh, blah blah as long as your fish are eating and therefore putting off waste the bacteria will continue to live and do its job and since you are treating any new water with dechlorinator it shouldn't be an issue in fact your fish would probably react to that before the bacteria would hope it clears it up a bit blah 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 and <laughs> she didn't even reply back you want to know why because I'm right because I'm always right because I'm awesome. It's freaking awesome. 
I'm the coolest person I know, I swear to God. But anyway, your beneficial bacteria are more stable, more hardy than you think they are. They're just... I think she did just message me. She wants to go. She messaged me just so she could start a fight with me, and that's just sad. Bitch. She knows I'm going to try to start a fight with her. God damn it. Anyway, your bacteria aren't going to be harmed. Maybe if you did a 80% water change every damn day. But it's mostly... Mm, I'm trying to think of a way that you could... If you were to clear out all your... Not all your water, but like do a 20%... Or do a 90% water change. You clean your substrate. You clean all your crap in there. And you rinse out and totally clean your filter. Then yeah, you'd probably have some problems. But uh... In the long run, you're not really going to have any problems. So I don't really need to worry about it, guys. Plus, fish and plants, they love giant water changes. Like, that's... When you're doing a water change, you're adding the nutrients back in for the plants. Like, on the plants term. Plants will run through the nutrients in your water pretty fast. So if you do a water change, you're adding the nutrients back into the water. And this bitch messaged me, and she just... Seriously, I'm just about ready to kill her. Because I know I'm right. And she knows I'm right. And she just wanted to message me just to start a fight. We all know it. We all know that's how it works. That is how it works. I've done it before. We've all done it before. I'm right, though. Because I've been doing it forever. And if I had any bad effects, it would probably have hurt my fish before. And I know plenty of people that have been doing this for forever. And have been doing giant water changes because it's what you're fishing. You know what? I'm just done with this because I'm pissed off. Keep on fish day fever, guys. Don't worry about your bacteria too much. Well, I mean, worry about them because you need them, but don't worry about them too much. I love you guys.